Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to route the Hibi R6 Gen 3. This is not the 2025 version, uh, this is the previous version. However, this should work on the 2025 version as long as you have the correct firmware files. So, first of all, let's just open up Magix on my Hibi to show that we are indeed routed. As you can see, no apps have requested super user access yet, so you know, I have my logs and I can install my modules. <clears throat> so, let's get into this little video. So, first of all, we're going to want to use our browser on our device and go to the magics.com site, download the Magisk app, install it. Second, we're going to want to be able to use developer options, so we're going to go open up settings. In settings, we're going to go about device. Let's scroll down until we see firmware version, and we're just going to spam tick that. Uh, click that until we have developer options are now available. Also, we're going to want to take note of our firmware because we're going to have to pull our firmware files from Hibby's Facebook page and make sure it's the right version. Next, we're going to go system, and in system, we're going to go develop options pull down until we see USB debugging by default on this device OEM locking is already done you're already ready to flash a customer on at any time and secure boot is off from what I can tell so with these settings set we are now going to need to get ourselves our firmware files we are going to simply go to a link such as the Hibby site. Well, not the Hibby site, sorry, the Hibby Facebook page. Uh, on the Hibby Facebook page, they post firmware files on regular and they're usually in the description. And we can download that directly from um, their Google Drive. Uh, once you have the file downloaded, it'll be in a zip. Extract that to your desktop and you'll have files that look like this without the out folder that is created by me. I recommend you make a folder in there called out as we are going to need to dump the payload bin file. Well, you will need the payload dumper and GUI will be linked in the description. Using this, select the payload.bin within the folder select the out folder you just corrected after that and select folder click dump it's going to dump the whole OS give it a second or two after it's gotten to the third option you can just click close on this and you should just have your boot image in particular the Hibby boot image for the Hibby R6 Gen 3 is 64 megabytes or that many bytes. So as long as it's this size it should be okay and it's dumped correctly. With that we're going to copy that onto the root location of your Hibby device. So let me just plug this Hibby in. Depending on your device firmware it should auto open up as a storage unit. Now as you can see I've placed the boot image right at the bottom here. And turn down this brightness on air a second. You can see the boot file is indeed there. Now we have the file on the device. We're going to open up Magix. In Magix, you're going to click install and you'll do select a patch of file and then select the boot image. It will patch the boot image. Click let's go and it will go ahead and patch it and create a modified boot image for you which will then be found in your downloads folder and it'll be called magix patched yada yada copy that to your desktop rename it to just simply boot as you can see right here once that's done we're going to move to move on to the next couple of steps which is <sighs> booting into fast boot mode so we're going to use a tool called Android Toolbox this is an easy way to just control your phone or device and boot it into a recovery mode or any 
recovery feature you like. So once you open up the tool, if you request access to your device, you'll click allow and always from this computer. Once you've done that, select the device, make sure it's selected, click next, you'll see your Android storage, click the free lines at the top here, I'm going to click power controls and we're going to click reboot to fast boot. If our device is going to turn itself off and it's going to boot into fast boot mode. Once we're in here, it says secure boot, yes, but it's not enabled. Um, out of Russian Serio, once this option, you see this UI, we can now install our ADB debug drivers. You're going to want to go to File Manager. You'll see your Android device as an unknown device with no drivers. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click it. You're going to want to go properties on it, go update driver, uh, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, I have a disk, uh, then you're going to want to browse to the USB ADB drivers I'm going to provide in the description, and just click this and click the Android Win Sub, make sure you click OK and you'll get several options and it'll look like this, just make sure you select the Android bootloader interface or once that's done you can now open up your platform tools folder you're going to want to go to your search bar you're going to want to type in a cmd you're going to right click cmd open file location open the file location of the shortcut they have here and you're just going to want to copy the exe simply literally right click it and copy it into the folder location open it up i always type in adb to check its functioning once we know it's functioning, you're going to want to use these lines. I'm going to copy it as it's going to be easier than typing while holding a phone one-handed. So you're going to want to have fast boot flash, and you type space boot space, then take your patched image you put on your desktop and renamed to boot fucking shit everywhere and take that and you're going to drag it into the CMD window and it should look a little like this and then you click enter which will resolve in it patching it to device I'm just going to unplug my device because I've already done this but I'm going to hit enter just to show for me, it will say waiting for the device, obviously, because my device is not plugged in. You will go ahead and patch the boot image. Once the boot image has been patched to the device, you can go ahead and simply restart. It might take a couple of minutes to boot, but as long as you have the right firmware and you've done this all correctly, you will now have full root access for your Hibby R6 Gen 3.